हेलो फ्रेंड्स एस टाइटल सेट आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट रेफरेंस लेटर और वर्क एक्सपीरियंस लेटर रिक्वायरमेंट दैट यू हैव टू सबमिट वाइल यू आर अप्लाइंग फॉर परमानेंट रेसिडेंसी थ्रू एक्सप्रेस एंट्री ऑल्सो आई विल शो यू माय वर्क एक्सपीरियंस लेटर दैट आई हैड सबमिटेड ड्यूरिंग माय पी आर एप्लीकेशन इन ऑर्डर टू गिव यू बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग सिंस आई वॉज हैविंग ओवरसीज एक्सपीरियंस एज वेल I will be discussing what are the problems that overseas applicant are facing and what could be the possible solution. So without further ado, let's get started. Hello friends, my name is Akash Sa and welcome to the another video on Canadian immigration. Let me start this video straight away sharing the screenshot from the IRCC website. as you can see here under mandatory documents for all pr applicants there is a section titled with proof of work experience as you know you will get awarded with the points for your skilled work experience to get completeness check your work experience letter should have below mandatory details included first your experience letter from employer should be printed on official company's letter head where they can see contact information email address registration number etc next it should have mention your designation that you are entitled for not only that all the job duties and responsibilities should also be mentioned and those should be match with your title as per national occupational classification list of canada noc IRCC has also asked you to provide your job status which means are you a current employee or former employee is this job a full time a part time or temporary contract job etc you also have to mention your working period with the company number of hours that you worked for and your salary compensation if you are a self employed you have to provide business ownership record self employment income proof and more importantly record of third party individual indicating provided service and the payment details remember self declared duties or affidavits are not accepted as a self employed work experience IRCC has also mentioned if your work experience is in canada you might want to add T4, which is a tax documents here, and notice of assessment issued by the CRA, which we all know as a income tax return. What I can suggest you, even though you are an overseas applicant, you might want to consider adding this thing with your experience later. Last but not the least, you will get the point for both overseas and the Canadian experience if you are a principal applicant. but if you are a dependent applicant for example spouse or common law partner you will get points only for the canadian work experience your overseas experience will not be counted in express entry system so based on this i am going to show you my work experience letter that i had submitted with my pr application remember there is no standard documentation provided by the ircc for this what i am going to show you is just for your reference Right now on the screen you are looking at my work experience letter which I received from my employer. On the top half part you can see my employer has mentioned my designation at that company, what is the NOC code, what's my employment status, what was my hiring date, what are the working hours that I have been working, what is my salary compensation and what is the address of my company's office. on the later part you can see the job duties these job duties are exactly matched with my designation as per mention in national occupational classification list over here as you can see these all details are the mandatory by the ircc expect noc code noc code is not mandatory to mention in work experience later let's talk about the problems that overseas applicant are facing when i submitted my 3 year of overseas work experience letter few of pay stubs was missing also in my work experience letter salary compensation was mentioned in local currency which is indian rupees so i was in dilemma whether i need to get a new work experience letter or the one that i have it should work moreover i was keep thinking what could be the possible supportive document that i can include with my application in order to make it more stronger at the end i went with the loe letter of explanation see 
I am not saying what I did was right or advisable by the IRCC, but it did work in my application. So I would like to share it with you guys. Okay, let me conclude this video. If possible, upload your work experience later document as this order. First, you have to put your work experience later that you received from your employer. Then add all of your pay stubs or the salary slips. More further, add your tax document which is T4 or the notice of assessment. Next, add your employment offer letter if you have it. And last, add letter of explanation if needed. You can combine all of this document into the one PDF and upload as a work reference later. I can give you one surety. When IRCC officer will see this, there will be no more question which makes your life much easier. I hope the information that I said today will be helpful to someone out there. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button to support my channel and do subscribe my channel for more video on Canadian immigration and the lifestyle. If you have any question regarding experience letter format, you can ask me in the comment section below. I will try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Until the next time, goodbye.